me tell you how this girl just came to my fucking door. Talking about some of her package. I'm crying. <laughs> This girl just came to my fucking door. Talking about some of her package. I'm crying. <laughs> Let me tell you how she just came to my door. I'm like. I said, what? She told my son, oh, yeah, I'm knocking on doors because people still my fucking packages. I said, well, remember this fucking number. And I pointed to the number on my door. Don't come on my door with that fucking, that fucking noise. I said, just like that, bitch, please. Because you don't know what nobody got in their house. Why the fuck is you knocking on people's door? I don't care what the situation is. You don't do shit like that. So I said, Ain't nobody the fuck home. Bitch, don't knock on my door acre retorted because you could get beat the fuck up. I'm sitting here about to get myself a pedicure. <laughs> I'm sitting here about to get myself a pedicure. Shit. <clears throat> I said, remember this fucking number. I straight said that on God. I said, remember this number. Don't knock on this door with that fucking foolishness. <laughs> like, ain't nobody taking your shit. They crazy as shit. People is weird. Like, to this day. I'm like, I said, what? And you know, a hood girl be ready to knock and buck. And she don't even got nothing to do with it. So I'm like, what's being served? So I go to the door because she banging on my fucking door. She talking about some... <laughs> Who stole my fucking package? Da, 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 da. I said, girl, remember this door number on God. Don't knock on this door with that fucking foolishness. She said, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, bitch. I don't know what that mean, but that mean don't knock on my fucking door with that shit no more. I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't even know you. The fuck? <clears throat> Mind you, I've been chilling in the house all fucking day. So... <laughs> I'm like, let me zen the fuck out because I'm mad because of a whole bunch of shit that's going on, like, with my work stuff. So, I ain't even been out the house. I don't even know what y'all got going on. She's on some people. She Then she goes in her house on the no, phone she talking about some... Never got that message. She goes in her house on the phone and says, motherfuckers acting like they scared. No, bitch. I clearly said... Don't knock on my fucking door with that foolishness again. I don't even know who the fuck you is. The fuck? You can hype whatever up on that fucking phone. But, bitch, I, I'm, I'm with the shits. Somebody could have got knocked the fuck out yesterday. You talking about some shit today. I will smooth ball knock your fucking head off. Knocking on my door like you crazy. Did. Is the taxi in different clothes? Go to zero leaks. Mm -hmm. And it flexes to... I've been needed a pedicure, so... I'm literally about to sit here and give myself a pedicure. Y'all, so I'm in the bed or whatever. But it's been some time since I was up recording. I got on this little house dress. I'm in my bed. Listen, I got my suit, you know, my little pillowcases. I'm two seconds from going to sleep, right? But I can't stop thinking about the fact that old girl knocked on my door with like the gully shit and my whole thing is because <laughs> i still fucking round up um my whole thing is the gumption that people have like 
wherever y'all be like on whatever gets in you that spirit of um i'ma do this or whoever y'all be on the phone with and they be piping y'all up or whatever listen the shit is comical because there's a golden rule you never knock on nobody door with the vara now i understand you knocking on the door and you like oh hey i'm missing something or whatever the case is and i'm missing a package and blase blase you know you know and you come in peace but the fact that this bitch knocked on my door all right, right. y'all heard how she was when she went in the house because clearly she was on the phone with somebody and i guess she just felt like she was in on, on hype mode and she needed to talk to somebody I am heavenly convinced that whoever she was talking to hyped her dumb ass up to not get to, to go knocking on the door, right? My goodness. I'm heavenly convinced that whoever she was on the phone with, they was basically piping her the fuck up. So not one time the person that was hyping you up did they speak any type of common sense over your situation and say hey you ain't nothing but yay hi you know what i mean don't go yelling up in them people's door you don't know what the situation is let me tell you what really really truly went down what truly went down the moment i opened my motherfucking door and she looked at me head to toe and seen that i was of size of stature the first thing she looked at was my turban because i had like I had a different turban on. This is just on my head, literally, because I'm on camera and I don't feel like having my braids out. This girl looked me from head, like, she looked looked me dead in my eyes, and she looked at the top of my scarf at the time, and she was like, the fuck is this? Because, mind you, I'm on my little Shaka Zulu shit, or, <laughs> or my Queen Latifah shit, and I'm on the type time, like, bitch, I'm zen the fuck out. Don't knock on my fucking door. Like, um... Then she talking shit. You know what I mean? Listen, she took me back to, uh, what's that song? You and I, T.Y. <laughs> because for some reason, I don't know if it's because I was giving off that whole vibe. But I was like, I was ready to punch her right in her fucking face. Like, don't ever come to my door on that type time. I don't know how I can break it down to you. But the bitch act like she was all scary. And then when I put her in her fucking place, she kept saying, okay okay and she started walking the fuck off then when i doubled back to the door because i i don't know what i was going to say once i shut the door and then went back to the door but i really just wanted y'all to hear how she was talking and just imagine like that's why my response was what it was now if you would have came in peace it would have been a little more you know like you would have got the softer side of me but the fact that the girl was like going off and cussing and all of that, I should have really, I should have really never opened my door just from the tone alone and the banging on my door alone. But oh my God, it's just the triggering of it all because I felt like, I don't, I listen, <laughs> I say all the time, I don't know why y'all think. That y'all can keep playing with me. Y'all think because that little sweet voice, that smile, blase, blase. Please do not cross me the wrong way. I Listen, I have no picks for who I got to put down if you disrespect me in any type of fashion. And I, I, I can just imagine the shit that she was saying behind her door. Had this bitch had said it in my face and I already told her to get the fuck from up, up from around my motherfucking door. I would have, do listen, a dog that bitch right in front of my door and I don't give a fuck. And I got a camera. <laughs> Y'all can't see it. But I got a camera that can see everything that goes on within the pathway of my motherfucking door. Bitch, don't play with me. I will beat your fucking ass. Think I'm fucking playing. <sighs> then it be the littlest bitches that be the mildest ones. And it's like, what y'all be on? Do y'all think that ain't nobody gonna smack you just because you just a little bitch? No. Like, y'all can really take people out of character. I will say that y'all y'all know how to bring people out of character and it's like I I I'm beyond done. But what I wanted to say to her 
class she had came with a little bit more class. What I wanted to say to a lot of them, because I keep seeing people, they put notes downstairs with, with, with profanity on it, you know, profanity, cussing, passing threats and everything, because they swear up and down that somebody in the building is taking these packages, right? Let me tell you something. I have no need to steal anything, number one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hilarious because it's like none of y'all we don't wear the same size like think about it it's nothing i get i gain nothing like that's not my style but my whole thing is i've had a situation where my package too was missing and it was just something so random so in saying all of that i decided to stop ordering shit <laughs> like if they're making this I decided to stop ordering shit fuck it it ain't that fucking deep like literally the shit that you order on Amazon you can get from fucking Walmart for a couple dollars cheaper I just decided to stop Um, even though I was just moving in and I was getting little eyes and ends and shit mm -mm, no if it was important I would send it to my mom house I would go all the way to another side of Philly just to go get my stuff if it was that important second I've learned, excuse me, I've learned and I've also seen that the people that deliver the stuff are the ones taking the shit. Just because they send you a picture and say that they left the bullshit there does not mean that they didn't take the shit back out with them. And you got to think about it. How many situations have you been in where you so-called got a picture of your package delivered and suddenly you walk right out the motherfucker and it's gone? Now, it could just so happen that somebody took your shit or it could be that they never delivered it. They are thieves as well. Okay. I, I'm telling you, it was just on the news. This guy, he was still in Amazon packages with a prime uniform on. The shit was on the back of his vest. Come on, now, like when I say Shorty had me like so turned up, and I'm like within a matter of no time. I'm in a situation that has nothing to do with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, because of something so small, so little, like, our community, we already know for petty violence and stuff like that. Like, don't knock on my fucking door. Out of all fucking doors, don't knock on my door. And I said that shit. I pointed right to the wall. I said, you see this shit? I'm looking at this little bit. I say, you see this shit on this fucking door right here? You see this address? Remember this fucking number. Don't ever pop pop, pop your hands on this fucking door again. The fuck is wrong with you with that rah-rah shit at this time of the night? I was so through. Like, people crazy. Beyond crazy. Got me on here story timing in my motherfucking bedroom. Like, come on. Like, No. Don't play with me. I'm surprised y'all getting packages on time for it to be the holidays too. That's a whole nother thing. Y'all crazy as hell. This girl, every bit of uh, five, five, okay. Not even. Probably ain't no bigger than a size four. Okay. Size small. Talk about some did I take something that she ordered? Bitch, nothing you order can fit fit around my pinky finger. Let alone I'm looking at you. Your your style is not giving off none of my aesthetics. So it ain't you you couldn't order no piece of nothing to place in your home that would match my motherfucking swag. So no, I, I have no reason to take anything from anybody. Get get from up around my door. The fuck? <laughs>